Hello, in this video, I wanna show you how you can add a shared file or shared folder to your Google Drive using shortcuts. So when someone shares a file or folder with you, either through email or through Google Drive, the file or the folder is automatically stored in the shared with me label. Um, as you can see, my shared with me label is manageable. It's the beginning of the school year. <laughs> but as educators, we know as soon as students start submitting assignments via Google Classroom, this shared with me label is going to get extremely cluttered. So a file that was shared with me is called safety test links. Um, and this is a file that I've decided I want to reference on a weekly, maybe even daily basis. And so I know that I have a few assignments in my Google Classroom that have the word safety test in it. So eventually when I do a keyword search, um, it's going to be really hard to find this master file. And I know this. So what I wanna do is I wanna make it easy on myself and I am going to create a shortcut in my drive that is going to link to this um, file. So I know that that kind of sounds complicated, but if you think about it, you already do this. You just might not even realize it. Think of your desktop computers. You most likely have icons on your desktop and those icons are shortcuts and they either open up a software program or a file that you use on a daily basis. So the only difference is we are creating a shortcut in our drive instead of a desktop. So you can do this one of two ways. You can simply click on the file and drag it into your drive. Or the second way is you can right click on the file. You can click add shortcut to drive and you can choose which folder that it lives in. I have a folder called daily files and um, that is where I want this file to live. Well, let me go back and add shortcut. So now when I go into my drive, you can see that the first shortcut is here and the second one is in my daily files. You'll notice that the file has a small curved arrow over on the bottom left and that is telling me that that is a shortcut. So if I delete this shortcut, I am not actually deleting the original file. Um, another kind of tip that you might be interested in is if you click on the file, you can click on this info button and you can scroll to the bottom and you can see who the owner is, just in case you wanted to see, or you can actually look at any activity that has happened. So if this was a file that all of us had editing access to, or maybe it's a folder full of stuff, I can see if new content has been um, added into that folder. Once I'm ready and I no longer need this shortcut in my Google Drive, I can click on it and I can click on the trash icon or I can just drag it over into the trash can. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, please let me know. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.